So there we go. So today, everybody, today, um, how, um, good afternoon. Um, today, we're going to do a critique of the movie posters. And I have a handful of them here. So um, we can talk about all of them, or especially those of you who are here who can share with us. And we'll start with um, you, Andy. Um, you want to unmute yourself? And tell us, remember, this is supposed to be an autobiographical movie. And then we'll, um, I'll give you some feedback. And at the same time, um, maybe make some suggestions and show you on the flying some things that I might do to uh, make some changes. You there, Andy? Yes. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Yes, hello. Can you oh, hear me? Sorry. My speaker's turned off. I can't hear you. Oh, OK. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Um, so for Andy? my movie poster, I chose. Uh, um, you know what? I screwed up. My bad. Um, there we go. OK, try again. Yes. Um, for my project, I chose for my moment. Um, I chose a moment where I was where I was feeling rather down as this pandemic started. I was getting very depressed because um, it was just because everything was just changing so fast. And I had so many plans to that just had to be either put on hold or changed because of to fit with this new lifestyle. So and so for this moment, I chose a moment where I started to learn to do more self-care and self-love. And that's why I chose the title Finding Hope as the World Ends, because that's pretty much what I've kind of been doing, just trying to find hope as it's just everything's been going, well, everything has been going crazy. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much a illustration of me and pretty much a just what I feel like in darkness and just gradually finding that light, that hope to continue going. And that okay. starts post in the middle is supposed to represent, you know, the hope that I'm, that I'm finding. Okay, I like that. That works. Let me, um, you're, you're, I'm making changes here as we're talking, or as you're talking. And I'm trying to, let's see if we can do that. I was thinking for starters, <clears throat> this isn't complete. I think you see what I, where I'm going at the bottom here. Yes. With the credits to reduce the size a little bit. And to okay, reverse okay. it out. So I thought what you had before, if I undo all of this, let me undo. Keep going back. I think that's what you had. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the, the size of the credits, I mean, the concept is fine, but let's work on some other details. And just what struck me is that for, for right now, the credits were a little bit too large. And there, the change between, the, um, between you and the credits was too abrupt. And I thought you should just take advantage of the background gradient that you had used. Mm -hmm. OK. And then lay the credits over it. So if I turn that on. I hit command T to transform. We can reduce it a little bit. Like so, they don't, they don't need to be very big. But then the next thing is to decide, let's see, let me go ahead and let's see. Okay, I see what, why this is. It's, we had you changed the opacity on that. So there we go. So that's 100%. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to hit Command A, or, or I'm sorry, Command I to reverse it out so that you have white. But now you have that black background, which isn't so hot. 
But what we could do is we could switch from normal to let's try, we don't want multiplying. So darken, how about lighten? There you go. Uh -huh. Okay, so see okay. the difference? Yes. Okay. So what the other thing is, I think the subtlety that you change in finding hope looks good, but th think of it this way. Your, your image, the image of you that you've depicted is emotionally down. But when you're saying finding hope, that should be um, uplifting. Right. So I'm wondering if, you know, think of things, you know, if, if things are, you know, when you look at, for example, your eyes, they're closed, your mouth is, you know, everything is pointing downward. But maybe instead of having the, the type for the title curve downward, it could cur curve upward. Right. Instead, so you have that balance and that uplift to it. Mm -hmm. Those two things. So the credits for one. And just using, you know, you can leave the white type that works. And now you can see that this is a nice balance again, this against this. You've used a singular image. The star that you have, that you have almost kind of like in a prayer like, you know, or almost uh, if anybody's ever done any meditation, you know, that you would see the way the hands are, are placed. That, yes. you know, it centers on, on, on you that is, becomes a target and a focal point for the, the poster. But that's the only thing left. I would, let me see if I can't, well, I can't, I guess I don't have the typeface on my computer. So if I were to edit this, I don't know if it would work. Um, I won't save it, but let me see if I can not say, you know, make the change here. Um, let me see if I can't manage it and get it. Well, I'm just gonna, for the time being, just replace it for the heck of it. That's not what you want, but you get the idea. Yes. So, if I come back in here again, and we use um, this, and instead of the downward arc, let's bend it upwards. Not like that. So let's do it a little bit differently. Okay, I'm going to use a different one. I'm going to use, well, instead of the lower arc, the upper arc. Let's see if that works. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can leave these as is, but this one maybe arch it up even a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you think of those changes? I think it looks much better, and I do agree with what you mean, since I did want to um, insinuate, you know, the feeling of like hope that there is light in darkness. Mm -hmm. So I do see what you mean by having the text point up rather than down. You might also consider too, I don't know if it will work, but with um, some of the filters that are available, um, what we could try to do under render, <clears throat> you could try, you know, you know, you're saying when you think of light, Let's go ahead and convert to a smart object. And let's try, um, no, it didn't work. I was hoping for a lens flare or something, you know, work with a stream of light behind it. Mm -hmm. It's sort of, I, I, for lack of a better word, kind of call it God light, but it's that stream of light that you see through trees. You know, when yes. you're going through a forest or things like that, if that could be added to the background to dress it up a bit, and then that would be that light of hope that would be an, an, an additional complement to the, the downward um, uh, pose and uh, appearance that's in, in the image of you. Okay, so those, yes. just those things and that's it.
Okay. Does anybody else want have any thoughts on on um, the poster? No. Anybody? Going once, twice. <laughs> Andy's poster. No. Okay. Well, thank you, Andy. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Is Delvin here? No. Delvin isn't here. It's an interesting poster he's got going here. So we'll move along. How about Giovanni? Giovanni here? Yeah, Giovanni's here. Yes. Okay. Talk to us. Okay, so this is based on uh, my dream, which is to be a filmmaker, it's mainly a director position. And I had this dream since I was nine. And this movie probably would have told about how I made, uh, first off, a YouTube channel, which made me practice editing more and also be in film schools, which, uh, including in Surreal's College, because they have the film programs. So it's, it's technically a life story, but also goes to the idea of what also inspired me, which is why Stan Lee's in the photo, because Stan Lee did help me shape uh, me to become the man I am today in terms of his stories. And because um, comics also got a part of me wanting to make movies, because like I said, I like the stories and the early uh, Marvel movies also helped me as well. So that's why it's called Road to Hollywood because it's not officially me getting there yet, but hopefully one day. And that's why the slogan is a tale of a kid with ambition because um, I'm, I have a disability on my right hand, you know, zero palsy, yet I'm still doing what I wanna do. And I remember in uh, fifth grade, I, a teacher told me that I wouldn't pass high school, but here I am in college, I proved them wrong. So that's what this poster is. I know it's not the best looking poster I made because I don't usually use Photoshop uh, before, but um, I did the best I could with my abilities because I'm using another computer while using Photoshop. I couldn't get it for Mac. So, okay. there you go. so um, well, based on what you said, is there anything that you would like to, to do differently with poster that you felt you couldn't do? Now, I'm looking at your Photoshop file, but I don't see the layers. So I, I, it's, I can't go in and make changes as I did with um, um, Andy's. Yeah, I, I accidentally combined the layers by accident. I didn't mean do you to. Ha do you have a copy of it with the layers? that you can uh, substitute? Not now, but... Not now. I, I will try to see how that, uh, that will be. So it's like, again, I was using my dad's computer and it's a, not a Mac, it's a different type of computer. I think it's called a Lax. It should what? be similar, even if it's a PC. The only, different, the only difference that I've discovered with the PC and the Mac with using Photoshop are, are a few of the key commands. Instead of the command button, you use control. Okay. Things like that, but just about all the key commands should be about the same. Right. Now, from from my point of view, I'm looking at your poster. I like your concept. Um, I like the images that you've used, but they all seem. I think what they need, what you need to do with it, is to integrate them a little bit more. I see them as all these separate elements mm -hmm. that should be viewed as a single one. Like, for example, let's take the little the marquee of lights. Right. I would reduce the size of the lights if you could. Okay. But have it frame the entire poster, not just the top, but the whole thing. It's okay if it goes around the seats. Okay. So okay. that, so that would be one thing that would help to, to tie everything together to unify. It. Okay. And similar with Andy's to make the credits. Go ahead and reduce the size of the credits a little bit and reverse the mount so that they're white. All right, okay. And then, um, since you, you, what you could do is almost a, a, a film noir look, you could um, change the color. If you, I mean, you could add some color, but you, you may wanna try 
on top of the, uh, the seats, add a black and white filter so that yes. goes black and white. And then if you need to, the image that you have of the cityscape and family members and the camera and all of that, all of that can go black and white and even be reversed out. But okay. don't put it, don't put it in a box like that. Have it just sit reversed out from the background. Does that make sense? Because it's no. like you have a frame within a frame, sort of a box within a box. And no, again, I, I understand. Okay. And where you say a tale of a kid with ambition, that could be reduced a little bit. And I don't think you need it. It needs to be bold. But that's the right location for it. Let me just move it down a little bit. Okay. I'll try to fix all that. And then if you could, um, where you have Road to Hollywood, mm -hmm. you might want to stack that so that you can enlarge the type and make it even bigger and take have it take up a larger space. And don't worry if it if if it overlaps some of the shapes and things like that. It will stand out if it if if it needs to be reversed out or maybe that's where you have the color, then that would be something to think about. Okay. Okay. Anybody else have any thoughts? No? Everybody is mute. Um I do. Okay, Andy, go for it. Um, I find the overall design very creative. I, as you mentioned, I do feel like the light should probably be around the poster itself. And I feel like maybe having the Stan Lee and the shadow that's behind the buildings maybe slightly smaller. Okay. I could, I could probably do that. Either smaller or, or much bigger, because right now all of these images are about the same size, and you want to decide for yourself what's the most important thing. Mm. And so maybe the, the cityscape, you know, again, if you took it all out of the, this box, mm -hmm. um, it's quite possible that it could be on a layer that's reversed out, or even maybe not, I don't know, that... Um, spans the entire width of the poster. And if you want to divide it at all between the credits and a tale of a kid with ambition, that this could, you know, it could be the entire width of the whole poster, the, just the cityscape. And then the other elements, the silhouette and the other figures, you want to vary the size of them. Think of what's most important to you. Maybe it's the camera. I don't know. Maybe yeah. it's the silhouette and then camera could be reversed out within the silhouette so that you know you get this it becomes rather than a series of separate elements that you begin to integrate them all as a single visual unit does that make sense i think no i do get what you mean and um i'll try to fix it as much as i can uh, okay. hope, and hope um i'll resend it yeah, do that and make sure that I get the version I get is with all the layers. And then if I can see changes or ways of improving it, then I will go in and I'll mix, I'll tweak it and then um, email you or the next class meeting, let you know what changes I've made. And you can take a look at it and you can keep it or throw it away. It doesn't matter. It's just, it's my way of kind of, since we're working remotely now of being able to give you some more immediate feedback. Okay. Okie doke. Well, thank you, Giovanni. Uh, no problem. Okay. Uh, let's see who we have next. Um, okay. Who's is this one? This is. Um, Uh, hold on. Are they here? Let's go ahead and look. Chris, is Christian here? No. No? Okay. Um, how about Roberto is here, right? I'm here. Yeah, you want to talk to us about yours? Yeah, 
Um, so the idea kind of, I was watching uh, kind of like 2012 and mm -hmm. I kind of made a similar version, but 2020. So I kind of, the same as Andy in a sense, where I put the uh, pandemic, as you see behind the 2020, um, I try to kind of envision or try to put myself into the picture. Um, but that's why I put a, a, a Mr. Luna there. Um, I kind of couldn't put myself in there. I mean, I kind of started growing my beard, so I couldn't really uh, want to come out right. So I kind of had him as a good actor that I kind of see that's uh, uh, well known. Um, if you look inside, uh, mostly kind of the Black Lives Matter protest or kind of in a sense going on with the whole uh, uh, movement, I guess you could say better. Um, the other one, Uncle Sam, necessarily because of the election. Um, if you look at uh, precisely his hat, you kind of see the two candidates right now, um, the guy in the hazmat, because that's kind of going on with uh, the whole world, kind of sanitizing, kind of cleaning everything. And then just the White House, I was also watching um, uh, Independence Day. So I kind of mm -hmm. had a theme of kind of going towards that of uh, things in shamble, things kind of going out of place and kind of chaotic things. So it's mostly like a rendition of how to, um, in a sense, summarize that of 2020. Okay. I, you notice that I changed the credits? Yes. Okay. And then just one other thing, and then I wouldn't touch it. I kind of, this is... Um, Giovanni, uh, thoughts about yours too, to go uh, mostly black and white. This would be a, a, not a bad way to go. Um, I'm trying to think, uh, so there's that. So let me select that layer. And then I think this is the biohazard. Yeah, let's select these two layers. And instead of being on, on the upper left-hand corner, I'm gonna move them, uh, come on. Oh, I see why, I think, I think, I think I undid that. Let me see if I can't move these guys up. So let me move that up. Let me move this one up. Let's select both of them. Let's move them. Yeah, no, we're moving the wrong things. That's what I want. Maybe it's this bio down here, one of these guys. I'm trying to find what it is I want to move here. But these seem to be the elements. I don't know why I'm not. I so let me select it, Let's see if I can. There we go, I got that moved. So why am I not moving the bio? I want this to move too. So if I select both of those, yeah, something else is moving and not that, so. I put a background in the 2020, that's stainless steel. So that's well, what kind of gives it that look. Okay, well, let me move them independently then. Just so you can see. Oh, come on. Okay, so why aren't you moving? There we go, there we go. So I would, since you're working with everything centered, mm -hmm. now it's possible that the 2020, in order to read a little bit better, um, we could apply to the layer an outline or a drop shadow or something of that nature. But I think rather than tuck it up in the upper left-hand corner, this layout, the changes that I've made here would be, um, again, it's it's unifying. You're seeing is a, is a singular unit, not um, separate from. And by tucking the title in the upper left-hand corner, I think that's what you're doing. You're kind of tucking it out of way. Does that make sense? And it should be prominent. It should be a part of it. And since yeah. 
already you were you were already working with a montage of elements anyway. Then integrate that with it, and if it means put, <clears throat> I mean maybe this red symbol. Let's move this down a little bit. Let's take the 2020 and move it down a little bit. Yeah, maybe it's right there. No, you don't have to change a thing. Just that. You're done. That's all I would do. And I think it would it makes it a little bit more dynamic. But what how how you have created your montage works really well. You have the portrait in profile facing to the right. You've integrated within that images of protesters. Okay, so that works nicely. So they're kind of blended together. Um, they're emerging from you know the White House appears to be the White House or something like that on you know in flames. And then to counterbalance the profile to the right, you know, facing to the right. You have Uncle Sam pointing to the left, and you have someone in a biohazard suit, you know, facing to the left as well. So they balance each other out. So, you know, and you're also working with various sizes. Clearly, the portrait is the largest and probably the most dominant. But then you see the fellow in the biohazard and Uncle Sam sort of read as a, as a unit so that they, it balances the portrait nicely. And then it's, it works really well the way that they are emerging from this smoking, you know, White House in flames. So it, it serves as sort of a base for them. Okay. So it, it's a way of combining all of these elements to read as a, as a single unit. So I think, I don't know, you tell me what I've done with this at this moment, whether you like it, think it works better or it doesn't. Just let yeah, me know. I like it. I like okay. the kind of everything centered. Okay, so those are the only changes that I would make. There, there are little tweaks here and there that I've done with everybody's that I think, you know, make these little minor improvements. Okay. Yeah, no, it were, your, your concept is, you know, everybody so far is good, good. And I think you, it, you know, you're like 90, 90, Five percent of the way there, the way that you presented it, and I think just by you know making these final changes, these final touches, would work really nicely. Okay, anybody yep. else have any thoughts on it? No, Robert, any Roberto's piece? Nobody. No? Okay. Well, thank you, Roberto. No problem. Okay. Uh, is Vanessa here? Yeah, she is. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Talk to us. My poster was about me being an artist, but at most times when I usually sit on the table and start to draw, I'll look on my phone for reference, but then go on social media and like never end up drawing. So that's end up most of the time. So like, I love to draw, but most time it's my laziness taking over. Okay, well work with that then. And I think you, I, overall, I think, um, you know, I liked, again, the concept, I like the image of you the dominant image, the only thing that I would do is to dress it up a bit. And I know that you darkened it. I looked at the layers in here so that the, the text um, reads well against a darker background. Because if we were to tur turn, let's see, where is it down here? If we turn off the photo filter and we turn off some of these others, I mean, they're nice images, but then it's hard to read the text. But what you could do, um, let's see, your image down here, you could play with this. But let's say, for example, we take this, and what if I were to just hit Command I to invert it? You know, I don't know whether it makes it better or not, but it certainly grabs my attention. Yeah. And that just inverts all the colors. 
Probably the other thing that I would do too is find find a different. Um, well, let's let me. We don't have to do a different one. Let me find where is it. I'm looking for your credits here. There we go. So I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. It doesn't have to be so big. So I'm going to transform it, reduce it. It's credits are there because they have to be. It, it's part of everybody's contract. But if you don't plan ahead and say, this is where it's going to go, then an art director will, you know, if you're not the art director in charge, will have to put it someplace. And if it goes over a part of your illustration or um, photograph that maybe is important to you, but you have no say, it will totally mess up the whole piece. Yeah. Yeah, the other thing that I would do too, and I don't know if I can, let's see. Let's see. Okay, let's work in here for a minute. Now, I might have to take this into Let me see if I can't edit this. And this is sort of, I don't know whether it works or it doesn't work. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to paste. OK. Let's go ahead and bump this up a little bit. But to have fun with the title. So let's go ahead here. And I'm going to take this. And I'm just going to make this. I'm going to get rid of that. Like so then I'm going to move this one in place. And instead of like that, I mean, maybe it could just be something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's having fun with it. At the same time, you know, I'm sure you've seen this in other titles. Um, you could also probably, uh, because you're, you're also placing the same amount of, um, uh, of emphasis on the word the, that doesn't need that. So, you know, we could go ahead and we could change that. Let me bring up, um, let's reduce the size of that, like so. This could also be tilted on its side or something like that. But I'm going to go ahead and move it up. So um, I have to bring up, let's bring up the character panel here. And where we have this, I'll go ahead and move this up like so. Okay, now let me put more space between the, the word here. So the Z works again. And let's move. Whoops, I didn't want to move that. I do want to move the Z. Something like that. Now, do you have to leave, you know, have to do any of this? No. I just think it's taking a basic idea and with some minor tweaks, having fun with it and move it and, uh, you know, dressing it up a bit, moving it in a more innovative, I think, fun kind of direction. 
I don't know. What do you think of those ideas that I just done? Yeah, I was trying. I was trying to play with it, but I really had trouble with everything. So I'm not sure what I was trying to do. Well, you know, it, it, conceptually, it's good. Okay, if you, I mean, you have to admit, you know, that sometimes you want to do the work, but you don't have the energy, or things happen. Well, play with that, and that's what fine artists do all the time, you know, and illustrators, just you know, everybody graphic designers and it's well what imagery can I use or what can I do with that to play with that idea and the, it visually um, uh, you know make that concept come across a little and have greater impact on the visual on the viewer on the audience and I think something like that might help these little things here So it's food for thought. So I'm, I'm not saving any of these. I'm just going in and as we're working here. That's why I like you guys sending me the Photoshop files so I can see it's sort of your, um, your thought process and it helps me out. So I can, as we're talking about it, I can go in here and I can make some, some tweaks that I can see that <clears throat> probably need to be done. But normally when we're in the classroom and we haven't printed out, you can't, it's too late to do that. Okay. Does anybody else have any thoughts about it? No? About Vanessa's work? Are these improvements or am I, you know, and it may be, you know, this isn't working, but, you know, have fun with it since you like to draw and paint then you know either it could be either a black and white poster so on top of that you know we've already seen some nice posters that are black and white so maybe i add this uh, to the adjustment layer and we add black and white to it you know and that could be an option for you and we could still take that image and if that if you don't like it reversed out we could reverse it out again so command i Okay, so now it had, you know, that has a nice effect too. So these are all these options that you have that you can think about and we can, you can go back in to this and we can play with the settings here. You could add a tint if you wanted to, you know, not to that, but to the image itself. Let's, well, let's go back, here we go. Let's see what happens with the tint. No, I wonder why it's doing that. Hmm. Interesting. Let's turn that off. There's something in the background there that's doing that. I don't know why it's doing that. We'll have to tinker with it and see. Um, now, why is that showing up? See, I turned something else on by mistake. What we have here, these little things, I don't know why those are showing up. Maybe it's part of the background. Did you erase anything or did I by mistake? So let's turn that back on. And let's turn this back on. I guess for some reason, the tinting is not affect the whole thing. It must be because parts of these have been erased. I think that's why. So how about if I turn this off? Hmm. I think. Yeah, something you must have erased something. Because when, when you turn on tint, it should have an effect overall onto that. And I don't know why it's doing that, unless I did something. But even just a, a, a black and white image like this has a really nice feel. It has more of an artsy kind of feel to it. I hate using that word, I really do. But you know, you could come back in again, we could we could tweak it with more adjustment layers. And you know, you could. Apply 
um, curves or, for example, we could, you know, pull up some of the highlights. Yeah, something else is having an effect on this. And I think part of it has been erased. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else have any thoughts? No. Um, we have we have angels. Is angel here? No. Does anybody else have anything to share? Did anybody add anything? that um, I didn't pick up on and I didn't put in the folder. This is Angel Zapata's poster. There's a bunch of them we haven't talked about. But I would rather have them present than um, talk about them when they're not. So if you guys don't have anything more, um, we'll, we still have about 15 minutes, but rather than start on um, and, and talk about uh, camera raw, I wanna go through it in its entirety. So I will wait until Wednesday to do that. So we'll finish this as our recording for today, our critique. And then if other people join us on another day, we can talk about theirs the same time. If you guys don't have anything more to add or that you want to say about your work, um, then we'll just call it a day. Okay? We good with that? Um, everybody is, is everybody working on their digital painting? I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Because you're not going to have much more time with that. We have about five more weeks of class, if that. And then you'll have maybe three weeks for the final project, which is a, a, retouch, a restore, retouch image. I have a question here, Tatiana. Oh, okay. Um, oh, Delvin, okay. Then you are here. Because uh, it says up here that it's Tatiana Abdullah. So it's you, Del. So let me go ahead and let me go ahead and allow you to talk. And let's go ahead and talk about yours. Okay. Tell us about what you got here. Um, my um, poster um, is about like a post-apocalyptic genre. I am a fan of the um, these type of movies and these type of stories. I even like. Um, you know, some zombie shows, um, even though some shows like uh, Walking Dead is getting stale. So I try to make mine look like, um, like, like it's the end, the end of the world. And I'm kind of like the last survivor in a way. And, um, and I was inspired by movies like I Am Legend. Okay, I, I'm, visually, I don't have any criticism. It's a nice kind of collage montage that you have going on in the back. It's mm -hmm. a nice treatment to the title. Um, I want to try, you know, something a little bit different, you know, that mm -hmm. maybe this could go here instead. I don't know. And then I don't know where Delvin is, where the type is for that. I'm looking here. Uh, the only problem I had right, um, was the zombies in the background, how to place them on the bridge. I don't know um, how to like... No, it, put, nah, uh, it's okay that it looks that way. Uh, thank you. And probably, yeah, you, it, it, it doesn't bother me. Um, I'm looking for the other flowers. This one. This I would center. 
Mm -hmm. And you could even make it a little bit smaller. If it doesn't completely read, that's okay. But even for, for these, if you want them to read a little bit stronger, let's say, because the last survivor reads just fine. But if I go in here with, um, let's find the other pits here. Okay, and then let's add a layer effect to this. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna add a drop shadow. Something like that. I mean, I don't know, these are just the default settings, but sometimes that will help it. <clears throat> They're kind of, um, drop shadows are kind of an easy go-to approach. You know, when you want, when you have a, a very busy background as you do, and it doesn't matter what color the type is on top of it, but you need it to read. And it depends on how much you want it to read. You know, I mean, you can always make that a little bit lighter, a little bit stronger. And we could do the same for, let's see. Where's the last? I wouldn't leave Delvin Pitts Jr. down here either. Don't forget to put credits here. Mm -hmm. and the, you just, you know, credits in white or in yellow or something that fit down here. And that would be a good reason for putting this other stuff up here as well. That where you have Delvin Pitts Jr. and Veronica Thompson. Mm -hmm. I want to, I'm looking for those to move them up here and they need to be smaller, a little bit smaller. Not much, but just a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Here's Delvin Pitts Jr. and here's Veronica. There we go. So we got those two. And we'll move them up like so. And then I'm going to hit the new key. And I'm just going to make them a little bit smaller. Like so, not that small. Like so, and then we'll, I'll go ahead and I'll move them in place. Like you had them before, I'll move it to the left. Like so, and then we'll take this one and move it to the right. Like so, so that they're easily placed, something like that. And then, you know, if these need, I don't think they need drop shadows. Mm -hmm. And in fact, they could even change the color of them so that they don't read quite so strong, but it depends. As soon as you put credits in here, that will help too. And that, that's it. It's just, taking all the content you have, and this is what I've done with most everybody, this is just um, tweaking the size a little bit, the placement a little bit, so that everything reads a little bit easier. Um, that's all. Okay. Yeah. Let me Thank see. You. Yeah, let me see the title again. And, um, here it is. Let's go ahead and add a drop shadow to that too. Not that I don't know that they need drop shadows. I just said I added it to the one. Yeah, it's kind of up in the air, but you know, little drop shadows like that kind of help. In fact, they could probably come down a smidge more. So if I have Delvin Pitts, if I have The Last Survivor, if I have some of the others here that you had. I think I have all of them selected. Yeah, there we go. We can move this down just a little bit, like so. Yeah, something like that. OK, so go ahead and add the credits. You can find tons of them online. Okay. And even if they're if they aren't in white, you know, find one that's a um, a ping file with a transparent background, and you can always invert it mm -hmm. so that it inverts. You know, comes out white, but white would be the preferable one. And then we can make the flower studios in the lower. Put it in the lower right hand corner. All right. And, even that too may be a little bit smaller, but they don't have, doesn't have to be that big. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any other thoughts, or do you do you what do you think of what I've done? You tell me. You won't hurt my feelings if you I prefer it the other way. So. Oh, I like it. It's um, it's great. <laughs> I I asked um, can, uh, can I ask you some questions about um, my three D model um, modeling class? Um, yeah, we we're all done, and I think we're almost all done. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we can come back and we can. I'll, I'll stop recording and we'll talk about it. Okay. Everybody, everybody else can go away and we can do that. Okay. Because we're really, it's five to three. So we're really pretty much done for today. Okay. So okay. anyway, you know, normally the, um, when we're working on these posters, it's this sort of thing that I would be doing in class that I would make these suggestions and then you no, know, you could print multiple versions, compare and contrast. Mm -hmm. And that's sort of what everybody should be doing. You know, but typically with posters, you know, if you're creating a, a montage or collage like what you've done, it's still you see it as a as a singular, a single unit. And then you want um, it, it's possible to have asymmetry, but the way that you set it up, I think a symmetrical kind of poster works. And it's, that's pretty much true for what most everybody has done so that you have a nice balance from left to right and top to bottom and that sort of thing. Um, it's a little bit different when you're working with in uh, design for magazines or for illustrations with that sort of thing. But posters, as I mentioned early on in the semester, are kind of like logos for the movie. You know, it's taking a single frame of the movie and distilling it down into, a, or taking all of the frames of the movie and distilling it down into a single frame, a single unit that just reads immediately, pop, and that's it. It's, it's a commercial poster. It's not a fine art poster where symmetry is, or asymmetry could, is probably would work to your advantage. But there's still more, of, it's creating a balance and that's what I'm trying to do with all of these. A balance in the composition. And if it needs symmetry, then fine. If it doesn't, then I'm, you know, I'm looking within the image to see the, the dominant image to see what else it needs or how the, the text that's working with it needs to be tweaked. Okie doke. Okay. Well, um, for the rest of you, I'm gonna stop recording. And uh, you guys are free to go. And if you have your work that you want to talk about on Wednesday, we can do that. But I'm going to go over the second half of um, lesson 12. I started it before, but I want to start. Um, it's retouching the model, the woman. But I'm going to start her from, from uh, the beginning again next time and go all the way through. And we'll retouch her um, using camera raw and Photoshop to do that. Um, and that will be it for this week, okay? So if you guys wanna kick off, you can, and I'll say goodbye. And um, I'll pause the recording, and then Delvin, we can talk about creating modeling, mm -hmm. okay? Okie doke, I'm gonna pause the recording.